Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Taurus for the week starting the 13th of December. Now this week we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going direct in the 8th house. There's a part of you that wants to delve deep within the nether regions of a partner's mind and find out what's making them tick. We also have Venus, the planet of love, in the ninth house of adventure, squaring Saturn in the rather uptight, sometimes sixth house. So what does this mean? On the one hand, you are feeling, Venus is saying to you, stretch yourself, go out there, see the world, allow yourself to have an adventure. If you're in a relationship, you're going to really want your partner to come with you somewhere unusual to do something different, to plan a trip around the world with just a bongo drum and a carrot, whatever eccentric nonsense comes to you today. It's more or less possible. You really want to experience the raw fabulousness of life. You also might want to learn something with your partner, go on a course, explore different cultures, do something philosophical, take up yoga, but you want to stretch everything when it comes to love. If you're single, you might fall in love with someone from a different culture or go on an adventure and meet someone, but you're determined to push yourself forward for love. However, this sort of irritating little square with Saturn is driving you a bit bonkers because you could be coming up against someone who's like very controlling or very critical at the moment. So if you're saying to a lover, let's go away, let's explore the world, they might be going, absolutely not, what are you talking about, you're talking rubbish. And you're like, gutted, I want to do something different and I'm a Taurus and this is really difficult for me, please share an adventure with me. And they're like, nope. So, you know, it's, it's a challenge because, or it may be that you both want to go on an adventure, but there's, there's something there stopping you, it's a square. But the good news is Mercury being in the eighth house going direct, it's going to make you go, rather than taking it at face value and getting upset, it's going to make you go, what's going on here? Perhaps my partner's got fears. Perhaps my partner's feeling insecure. Perhaps, you know, a change is difficult for them. And as a Taurus, I can appreciate that. And it's asking you, Mercury's asking you to communicate on a much deeper level, to go deep within the, and communicate with whoever comes your way. If you're single, it could mean that you meet someone and suddenly you're talking on a much deeper level than usual. And it could also mean that you face your own fears, you talk about your own shadow, you're prepared to look within at what's going on with you. Now, if you're not using this energy wisely, the planets could be encouraging you to, well, the planets are encouraging you to, to be very open, but if you're, if you're not taking that energy, you could feel wrongly, possibly, that you're encouraged to become obsessional about someone else or become obsessed with someone who is more adventurous than you or somebody who's more exotic than you. And, you know, it's much better to balance that out by finding your own adventurous self rather than projecting that onto someone else. Anyway, it could be a very frisky, intense, adventurous week. But that sixth house is saying, have balance. Don't go on an adventure that's self-destructive. Look after yourself, look after your nutrition and your health. If you can pull all that together, this should be a very intense, beautiful, exciting and different week. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.